two minutes here until we jump. Will's trying to get the long lens going here under a crunch. It's gonna be up here, I think, right in the middle, like right below those trees. But you have to walk a plateau coming from the right all the way over to it, and then it drops off. Okay. Jake's been trying to like stomp it like right in front of people these days. I wonder if he's gonna land right here. You got it? Drop, drop, <laughs> God. <laughs> Where are you guys jumping after? Uh, we're thinking you could drive us. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah and uh, we'll jump uh, the Love and Life. The one none sick. of us have jumped yet. So new exit day. Well, no, it's new for us, but it's it's not point worthy. Mm, not unless somebody free falls it. Then it's worth the point. I'll take out my van and then come back down. And Okay. Hey, let's just meet hey, on, let's I'll see you later. We're gonna go do some slack line maintenance. I'll catch up with you. Give me yep. a shout. So, Squamish is sweet for the fact that when I moved here a year ago, I had no idea what a slack line was. And there were these slack line parks built around Squamish. And someone unnamed in the community just went and donated everything so that people like me who move here can try the sport for the first time and fall in love with it. So, that being said, um, with the expansion of this little town, unfortunately, those slack parks have been cut down for new developments and some homeless housing because of the COVID crisis. So, uh, we've gone and put up a couple more slack lines around town. We're gonna do some maintenance on them today. You can see here, they're all hooked off one sling, so uh, they both can't be used at the same time. Um, this was the original one that was left here by someone just like um, some slack spec tubular but we went and put up the weekend warrior here and you could tell it's been getting quite a bit of use so that's good to see Mic check one two one two my name is Ziggity Ziggity Zack and I could riggity riggity rap but over a wiggity wiggity wall it sounds kibby kibby <laughs> 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 right now um, I wish you could hold that big, big old camera and get on the slack line. When your friend's sitting on that line, you unfortunately go when you shoot him up in the air and vice versa. So we're gonna isolate this. <laughs> I remember putting this on. I remember it was being so hard to get on. And here I am again. Slack Life BC puts out a weekend warrior kit, which is just awesome. It comes with uh, 30 meters of webbing, which you know is they were like 90 feet and um, comes with a ratcheting device where it just tensions so easily. We're going to do a primitive setup here and we'll use the ratchet in the other campground hopefully. Now this guy to this guy and that'll be perfect I think. Old hardware, one pin through. Make sure the webbing is flat and nice. There we go. And this guy through here. That's how I tried out my first slack line and it's nice to give back to the community and hopefully inspire someone 
to slackline and eventually highline the same way I got inspired. Big shout out to Slack Life BC for hooking up the Slack Lines. You guys ever try slacklining before? Spider-Man all the time, you watch that every day. Sweet, yes. Have you seen uh, The Amazing Spider-Man or whatever, that one? If you look closely in the one scene, he's highlining in it. He like shoots a web across and he's like highlining on it, bouncing on it. Yeah, so Sp Spider-Man's a highliner, just so you guys know. Have fun, try out the slack lines. I just fixed them so they're good to go. You can use them both at the same time now. Cheers. You like to make a... A static, like to pull the static line? We'll pull all the strings out of our stash bags. <laughs> and our shoelaces. No, we'll do it barefoot. Back to nature. No, yeah, like if you go back to the to where our vehicles are, we're yeah. gonna land right there. Hey. I knew that. <laughs> you were just doing that to trick us, eh? Yeah. Yeah, you're a funny fucker, aren't you? Check, check. This way. Yeah, I know. I'm just going around them. I know. I'm just telling you. <laughs> this exit's called Love and Life, right? Yeah. Okay, it has obviously something to do with treehouse. Yeah, they jumped it the day treehouse died. They were supposed to be leaving to go to Europe. And, uh... Which treehouse? Treehouse was there with Phil already. Okay. And, uh, and then there was, like, uh, Graham and... I'm not sure if Sally was also going, but... Uh, Graham and a couple others were supposed to go and basically Phil called and he's like, listen, like, the treehouse just went in. And where was this? I'm sorry, in no. Switzerland. Crazy. Yeah. Anyways, they were here local when that happened. Yeah, and then instead of like leaving to go fly to Switzerland, <laughs> um, they just stayed here and then they were like, let's go fucking jump something new. And that was like, you know, one of the more obvious... It's one of the more obvious ones that you look at that you're like, there's clearly like a big cliff there. Yeah. Vamos. Así es la cosa wow tan sabrosa. Solo me usa por el pollo y la boca. Tiene la botella y yo con la soda. Cayó la copa bailando soca. Pausa. Falta mucha saison. Pásame la cheque como fue Verizon. Pero pico como era Tyson. Este Puerto Rico a las chicas del Bilbao. Que da la pau. We just got to the LZ and uh, um, I'm going to try and take some photos of the boy as well, he films. All the sittings are already kind of made for you. Like point and shoot at this point, Yeah, right? it's point and shoot. The only thing... Is it like really... a disposable camera? Is this like so pretty much... Is this like manual though? Yeah, yeah, it's manual mode, but I set up all the sittings, so it should be fine. If it's not fine, that's my fault. Yeah, you um, heard it. It should be fine. <laughs> if you press all the way uh, off, halfway, this button, okay. it's gonna focus, and then if you press fully, it's gonna take photos. Cool, let me try. So does it not take yeah, a photo if it's never focused? Because I, yeah. I can't get it to take a photo, it has to yeah, be. Yeah, it mm. has to be in focus. Dummy proof, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's test this out up here. Fuck, I feel like I'm paparazzi right now. 
actually gonna turn my truck off. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. My sunroof started closing because I turned my truck off. <laughs> Dude, I panicked. <laughs> I thought I was gonna lose my head and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> We're like kind of right in the middle of it. There's like the, the big white wall like on the left and then we're like just to your right of that. I think I see them. Will sees me though? Yeah, Will says he sees you. <laughs> okay, I'm gearing up then. We're ready to go. Jake's gonna go. Okay. We're pretty sure where we are opening a new one. It's okay. not actually the, the other one, but I don't know. I like the look of this one. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. 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 See you soon. Yeah. Six, okay, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, that was a scary landing. No doubt. No doubt. So Jake jumped, worked out great, but he took the static line with him and we were already short. And so now we've taken the string out of Richard's bag and this should do it. <laughs> that was a close one, hey Jakey? Yeah, I was like, am I gonna get hung up here? And then I threaded it nice and tight. Worked out. <laughs> you guys uh, from around here? I live here. Yeah, see how long you've been living here for? A couple years now. Nice, you climber? I'm a climber, yeah. yeah you ever gonna get into like speed winging or paragliding or anything? Free basing? <laughs> or, or free basing? Probably won't be free base, but I would love to fly at some point. Sick, yeah. Uh, I just did my first base jump thanks to these guys, but uh, I gotta get into paragliding and stuff too eventually. There's so much to do here in Squamish. You guys are climbers too? Uh, I mean, we're highliners, uh, so like we can climb, we do climb. We go horizontal as opposed to like vertical, you know what I mean? Yeah. Have you ever tried slacklining before, highlining? No. Nah, yeah, I mean, well, if you ever want to give it, give us a shout, Slack Life PC, we're not too hard to find. Okay. Uh, and uh, we're super keen on taking people up to go highlining, to go slacklining, whatever you want to do. Have you been on the line up there? Is it still up? It's still up there, yeah. yeah. That's, we have a rope swing on it right now. We're going up there tomorrow to derig it all or whatever, but um, have okay. you done a rope swing before? Not of that nature. No. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. What kind of experience do you need for that? Nothing. Just come hang out with us, man. We'll, we'll, we'll come strap <laughs> you in. A couple beers always helps. Carry yeah, some, I got ca that. Carry <laughs> some gear. <laughs> so uh, the rope swing, so that just like comes down and just Absolutely. Oh, so yeah, he did like five backflips off of it, no four backflips off of it, like whoosh, 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 and then you just see him open up at the end, like whiplash. That's my kind of thrill. That is low.
Jay, your static line broke, so this, that section of red line went off the cliff. I heard you say something, and I looked back, I'm like, you're not attached to me. Yeah! Now I can reuse that, that brake cord again. This uh, wasn't supposed to break. I guess because oh, that's a single strand. Oh, look at your knot, too. Nearly slipped right through. Richard. What the fuck? <laughs> it all worked out, it's fine. I had like that much tile on there. Yeah, that's crazy, eh? What? Living you learn. I'm carrying paracord with me everywhere I go. Yeah, I know. I saw you through the trees. I didn't see where you landed, though. No, uh, look at that. Oh, wow. Wow. That was a fun canopy flight, actually. That is definitely a new jump. Yes. The, the other one, so you said... Oh yeah, no, for, it makes total that, sense where we should yeah. have jumped from. Or could have. Uh, that's, that's, that, we're yeah. out and fucking looking for What's new stuff. And new stuff is finding us. That's what happened. Oh, no, yes. Yeah, I was way too high. I mean, I was like, way too low to do a 180. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, that's it. I'm fucking, I'm trying to trudge this through the woods here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Kind of scary. <laughs> we got fire shots. I'm oh, no yeah. photographer, but fucking the Will set up all the settings right. Oh, yeah. It was just dope. And he gave me the run through. <laughs> and like, I'm just looking at some of them. And it's like, these, these cameras are amazing. They're, like, they're high five. I'm going like, all the way back. In the air, like, oh, man. Look at that. That's amazing. Let's see. Fuck <laughs> <Okay>. yeah. <laughs> Is it a mission accomplished? Mission fucking A plus <laughs> plus. Is that is that your thing? No. Nope. You uh it's no not you, a thing. you used this bump the death yeah, song. No, <laughs> Let's make it a thing. Make you a thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the next uh, move here? What is the next move? What are you guys up to now? Oh yeah, campground. Campground there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I've, been, I've been talking with Patrick from the, the Mamquam River Campground. That's where we have the Highline Festival. Um, and they've got a couple old slack lines that have been there as long as the campground has been operational, I'm pretty sure. And I've, I've told them I'd bring them by some of the, the weekend warrior kits and, and uh, they're a little easier to kind of tension or detension, so. Um, yeah, we should just head over there and set up the couple that we have. We just got to the campground. We're at the second slackline spot of the day. <laughs> man, we need to make a tree net here somewhere. How's it going? Good, man. Nice to see you. Good. Did you get a couple jumps today or something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was perfect, man. It's nothing like a sunny day when, with low wind. You sit around looking out the window long enough. Out with the old, in with the new. Yeah, so I'll show you. It's like really, really easy. It's, it's basically, I mean, it's garbage in terms of like anything that you'd ever put your life on. There's always something for some garbage rope, you know what I mean? It's, I, I, always, I like tend to hoard it a little bit because it's like, just well, someday you just need some piece of rope. Maybe you need to leave it behind too. Boom. Does that one touch the ground? The, uh, this one? Yeah, it's probably better. What do you, what do you think? We will replace the, uh, the long one instead of this one. Look, it's probably better. The static, this this webbing's not quite as stretchy where this stuff's like a rubber band. So like when you get on it, it really wants to, really wants to turn you upside down. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, we could actually put it lower to the ground and a little bit tighter and, and still be able to walk it. Yeah, sweet. This is the one. It shouldn't go flying. <laughs> so might as well just cut it here. <laughs> this webbing isn't as stretchy, oh, 
stuff. As that other stuff, yeah. yeah. So it's actually, I mean, quite a bit safer in, okay. in terms of like a beginner getting on it, okay. or even in a progressive level from like the short one to this one to this one, it'd be, yeah, for sure a, a better, safer option. <laughs> Let's see if I hit in the middle anyway. No, that's, that's ideal. Yeah. See, it's so much better with the low stretch. You can actually walk end to end and you're never like, you're never more than a foot and a half or two feet off the ground. Right, right. With this stuff, it's so stretchy that you have to put it higher. And once you sink down, it's got that like dynamic force. Right, I've seen guys flying around on it. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I bet you'll see a lot less with this. <laughs> yeah, like because they're 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 both like new. As soon as when they stretch out like that little bit, you'll have to give them a couple little cranks. But if if it gets to a point where there's so much in here that it then it uh, stops the teeth from from catching. Right. So then you just have to like release it and then pull through the slack and just do it again. And it's a ratchet strap, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not, it's not rocket surgery. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll definitely come back in the summer for some fun then. Yeah, for sure, guys. Come on back anytime. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> You're not even going to walk across the slack line after you put it up? I mean, I guess I could get... I, I can get my monthly dose, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I just I don't slackline that often. Now we've got a little slackline in the backyard. That's probably where I slackline the most. <laughs> it's funny with the short little. Thanks, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Hey, you know where to? I mean, it's, it's branded. If people want them. We've got our our storage unit is like full of them now, and it's like funny because Brent did all the work to get them, and I haven't been marketing them much or doing much, so. Once we started doing videos, I'm like, all right, guys, this is something I need to do. They're like 140 bucks. And they come with a, a, like a bag and a, with tree pads yeah, and stuff too. Oh yeah. Yeah. It comes with, it comes with all of that. I'll keep in touch and uh, yeah. Uh, Did you get him falling over when we cut the rope? It's funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> yeah, really lean back on it. And it was really like, leans back right as I cut it. I'm so <laughs> gullible when it comes to you. If you're telling me to do something. In those moments, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Who's heavy? You're saying heavy did the original slackline park at Nexum? Yeah, there used to be like an actual slackline festival um, at Nexon Beach. Nexon. Nexon. Nexon yeah. Beach. Um, and uh, it was like hula hoops and slackline. Heavy is like an old local. It's like climber. literally, yeah, he's a climber. He does a ton of like root cleaning and stuff like that. He's cleaned more roots in town than probably anybody. He actually, like, I would credit him pretty hard with bringing slacklining to Canada. Like in the in the 70s when slacklining was created, he'll tell you a story of like him and then like all these other names and he's like, this guy brought it to Germany, this guy brought it to there, we all learned it from from Chongo <laughs> and and whatever. And then like Is that once why it's called Chongo? That's why Ch yeah, from the, Chongo the Chuck. Yeah, there's like a guy. To, to do the Chongo? Yeah, like to yeah, get Chongo that's Chongo is a guy. That. You didn't know that Chongo was a guy? No. Really? Yeah. <laughs> this is all new to me. Fuck, you gotta watch Valley Uprising. It shows a lot of like the history of slacklining in like where it started. Oh, okay. Like, he came here and like slacklines have been in Squamish and like at the base of the Chief and at Nexon Beach for like, you know, decades. It's been a thing here for decades. There was like Jer Smith and, and um, Ryan Westfall and them. I went up. 
I I'll, I got all stoked because I had sent some like shorter lines around. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to the chief, you know? <laughs> so I like ran up there after work one day and they were there and they had the line rig and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> 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 and then, but they were all taking turns on it and, and I asked them if they could leave the tagline up for me because that was what I didn't know how to do. I didn't know how to get to the other side. And the North Gully, yeah. you know, it's like I had no idea. <laughs> like, that sounds so funny. Yeah, Spencer yeah. doesn't know how to get to the other side uh, of the North yeah, Gully. Yeah, it's funny. But then that's yeah. And then we came back up the next day and rigged it for the first time. It was really hard. <laughs> <laughs> the first time was actually just with me and Brent and his brother. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you guys and then we came back in the winter because, like, I got worked on it. <laughs> so then we came back in the winter time after like a bunch of training. And oh, that's right. Brent was telling me about this. He said you're the only one that kind of made progress on it that day, but everyone got worked, eh? Yeah, the the, the first time, yeah. Because yeah. we, I was walking off, right? Yeah. I was whipping like onto the the like in the no fall zone. <laughs> oh my god! You know? <laughs> I lost both my shoes on one whip. <laughs> I like tried to catch with my legs and. It didn't work out so well, but luckily they landed on that ledge, still hanging from the <laughs> leash. I like grabbed a stick and like fished them over. <laughs> I wasn't like the flexible, the flexible, nimble person. Whenever I tried it, it, it seemed awkward. So to me, like most people, it's it seems better to like stand at the end and on. hold on to something and then walk on. <laughs> Which is me, so hard to do in yeah. reality. When I first soloed the North Gully, I walked on and walked off. I didn't even know how to chongo. Build the slack line. Oh, it's gone right now, even. They used to have it right here. They used to go from this post to this post. We're at Squamish Adventure Inn. Let's go have a little chat with the owners. We would love to have one, but right now we don't we don't put one up in the winter because the grass needs to grow back and everything. I understand, but okay. Like, in the summer, we would put one up if you guys want to come back then. Yeah, yeah totally, absolutely. I, I, I knew this would be a happening spot. I see a lot yeah. of activity here. Yeah. Sweet, so when do you guys usually do the changeover? Yeah, so we reseed the grass and everything, so I think we usually put it up May 1st. Cool, maybe. okay, sounds good. Well, I'm Zach. I'll see you guys then, <laughs> Emily. So that's cool. You heard uh, they actually just have to wait and get their grass reseeded. Um, we'll come back. We'll put one up in the spring, but that's three slack lines up today. So feeling pretty good about that. Hopefully get some more people stoked on slacklining. See you guys next week.